Hey, what's up, Vaxplain followers? Welcome back. Right now, we are going to tackle the product tempering three star challenge. And the description tells us to change the href of the link within the OWASP SSL Advanced Forensic Tool OSERFT product. And we're going to change it to that. This falls under the broken access control challenges. So I want to start by going to that link over here because um, we have that in the description and it probably makes sense to check it out. And what we see over here is the result of our search. And if we check out Burb, we do not really see any search result for that because almost g -Shub is a single page application. And you can see over here, we were not requesting an endpoint that is um, well put down after this last slash after the domain it's put down after the hash mark and that means it's an anchor to an internally processed feud and with that we do not really see a request in burp suite but what we see over here is that we do have a request going to get rest products search queue and i can send that to burps repeater and if i do that and send this to it we can see that we're getting all the OWASP chusha products right over here and if we scroll down a little bit we see carrot juice acro juice fruit press screens movie and a couple of other things so let's see if we can find our OWASP ssl forensic tool so i'll just quickly go to the search and say forensic and we see that we have found it right over here. So ID number nine is the OWASP SSL Advanced Forensic Tool. So let's quickly check what happens if I search for that specifically. So I will use that right over here, go back to burp and fill this in right over here in the queue parameter. So that obviously doesn't work because we do see that there's a couple of spaces in here, so we cannot send that the way it is right now. Quickly send it to decoder, and code as URL. I will quickly copy that, repeater, and we'll fill it in straight over here. Let me do that, and let's see what happens if I send this to the endpoint. And we do see that we now get back the forensic tool only, the OSAF product only. So if you recall what the challenge is, the challenge is to take that product and exchange its description, which currently says OSAF is an easy to use tool to show information, yada, yada, yada. And if we check that out in the UI, we see that this is this text right over here. And if we click on more, we are getting redirected to OWASP.org and there is a little page called OWASP OSAF. But we want to exchange that link to link to a Slack channel as we have seen in the description. So the question right now is how can we do that? And what I would usually do is I would start with having another look at the endpoint. And I do see that we're sending a get request to slash rest slash products slash search and I want to change something. So usually with API endpoints, you use get to retrieve information, you use post to insert information somewhere and you use put to update it. So my idea right now is that we would need a put request and search is probably not the right endpoint. So what we could do is we could start with, I don't know, let's say um, deleting all of that. And um, for example, get rid of the search, go back to rest products only, send this to the server and see if we're getting anything back. And what we do see is that we have hit an unexpected path. So as OSP Chushub is giving us back pretty well, but those error messages, we're learning a lot about the application and we immediately see that this 
doesn't exist. And what I could do right now is I could go ahead and brute force a lot of those endpoints, a lot of the possibilities, and see if I hit an endpoint where I do get a, another response. So I could use this error message over here to brute force until I find a response which is sending me back, for example, a 200 response code over here instead of a 500 internal server error. But as I do not really want to brute force this application right now, I want to show you a different path. And let's recall quickly that the information which endpoints we have must be stored somewhere on or in that application because otherwise the application can request it. So think about it. The, the, the information must be somewhere. The question is where? And with that, I want to introduce you once again to the developer tools because those are pretty great. If we open them up by hitting F12, we see this little white bar down below here. And if I go to debugger, I see all the JavaScript files which are used by OWASP Shoe Shop in order to run the application. So this is the heart, like the main part of the application. Without those, there wouldn't be happening anything. It wouldn't work. So the question right now is what can we do with those? And by looking at them, I see a main polyfills, runtime, tutorial, vendor, JS, and I gotta uh, scrutinize which one to have a look at first. And main sounds pretty interesting to me, to be honest. And we can use some nice functionality over here, which is called um, pretty print source to make this a little more readable. And if we give this a second, we see that this looks way better and easier to read right now and only comes with, well, 74,000 lines of code. That is actually a lot. And I do not want to go over all of that right now. I quickly go back to Burb and see that the endpoints are structured in a way where we do have, for example, um, um, slash rest and then slash products. So product seems to be interesting because it's actually a product that I want to change, a product where I want to change the description. Now let me quickly go back to this request over here, we also know the ID of this product, which is nine. So let's keep that in mind. I will go back to my developer tools and I will use control F to use the search functionality and then say products. So let's see what we find with products. We get 46 results. And the first one is slash API slash products. And that's actually a pretty interesting one. The next we already see is REST products that we already know. And if we click through that, we can see if there's any anything else in it that sounds interesting, but it doesn't really seem so. So I go back to that and say, um, right over here, I say slash products. Now I only get 12 results. And clicking through all of that, images, products, images, it doesn't really seem so that those are the ones I want to deal with. It To me, it seems that API products is a pretty interesting endpoint that I should play around with. So I will go back and I will just take this uh, repeater session over here and I will say, well, um, I learned actually products I will leave because I know that this is an existing endpoint, but instead of rest, I have to put down API. So what happens if I request that endpoint? Interesting. So we see there, we get back all the same endpoints all over again, but now they're ordered. That's pretty nice before they were in the right order. And we do see that we're getting the um, ID9 OSOFT tool back once again. So what happens if you see something like that, you can always think of a, um, that there might be an endpoint existing where you put down the ID right off the, the um, final element in, in the path. So I'll just try to send get API products nine and that works. So I'm now I'm only getting back the forensic tool. And now I wanna change something. 
As I have stated before, for changing you usually use a post request, a patch request or a put request and I would start right now with trying to send a put request to this endpoint and I want to change the let me see I'm actually going to copy all of that right here and throw it right in there send this to the server and see what's happening so that looks pretty nice I don't see any change but the put request seems to exist that's already really good so let's try to change something let's try to make this a little more pricey I want to make this um, worth one dollar instead of 0 0.1 and I'm going to send this again to the server and I do see that the price has not changed so the question right now is why am I not able to manipulate the information of this product and if we look a little closer at the request over here we do see that we are sending a JSON request to the server but we are not having a content type as a request header so my idea right now would be to put down a content header right over here actually it's called the content type header and application JSON is the typical header used for sending JSON so let's try if that helps if I put down the content type header and what I can see over here is that it didn't really work out the price is still the same so the question right now is what else can we do and I will reduce this example a little bit because actually I don't want to change any of those um, price tags or whatever I only want to send or update the description so what I'm going to do is I will get rid of all of that and I will also get rid of all of that let me delete everything up here that's stuff I don't really need the only thing I want to change is that description and nothing else I'll actually just quickly get rid of pretty print to see my full request and yeah that looks good so let me send this one more time to the server no I'm actually having a JSON error oh yeah I deleted one character too much let's send this again and apparently one more yep there's still a comma in here so you gotta make sure to get your payloads right and let's send this over again All right it looks better so let's try right now to change the description because maybe that field or that attribute works for us I will just say instead of OSEF is an easy tool I'm just going ahead and say hack explained is an easy to use tool I will send this to the server and that actually worked so what we see is that we were able to change the description of the um, forensic tool which is pretty cool and actually brings us pretty close to our result so let's just go back one more time to my scoreboard and see what the description says I'll close that because we don't need that anymore and scroll down the description says can you change that to https OWASP slack dot com um, yeah maybe maybe we can change that so I will copy that and go back to burp and look in the existing description if there is an href tag in it and there is one right over here so let me exchange the existing href with the link that I've just copied I'll put that down over here I'm actually going to adapt the character over here a little bit because uh, that is messing up my my href and send this through the server no I was messing this up so let's quickly check what I was doing oh let me copy that one more time https 
up until calm. I'll go back, delete all of that until I reach the double quote, fill in the new href link and send this to the server. And I am still having an error. So let's see what problem we do have right now. Target is escaped. Ah, oh, there it is. I forgot to escape the double quote character over here. So you can immediately spot in Burp that if the payload is put down correctly, the whole string turns green. So that, that's an indicator for you that the payload is correct. And a silly mistake on my end, but always make sure to check out your payloads if there are any mistakes in it. And let's send that over to Chushub again. And we see that, yeah, that actually worked. So let me go back to the screen over here and let's go to our two shop front page. And here we go, product tampering. We've actually solved the challenge. We were able to change the product description to osslack.com. And I want to demonstrate that before closing up this video. So I'll just say O minus soft and search for the product once again. Actually, a little fun fact that O soft string over here is standing for orange juice. And yeah, that picture actually looks like an orange juice. And if we click on that, we see this link once again. And if everything worked out fine, this should take us to always.slack.com before it was taking us somewhere else. So yeah, we have solved the challenge. I hope that you were able to learn something new in this video. And yeah, with that, subscribe in the top right corner. Make sure to check out all the other videos and I'll see you guys soon.